In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at what? Capacitors in series and what? In parallel, okay? Now, how do I solve problems involving capacitors in series and in parallel? We have a sketch on the board on the connection of capacitors. Here is in series and this one is in what? Parallel. How do we know that a capacitor is in series? Now, let us look at the diagram, okay? You see that if this is our battery and the current is flowing this way, by the time the current gets to this place, the current that enters this capacitor is the one that is still going to enter this capacitor. And that same current is going to enter this place, okay? So the quantity of charge in the first capacitor is the same with the quantity of charge in the world second capacitor okay and that's also the same with the quantity of charge in the third capacitor so that is why we say that in a series connection the quantity of charge remains worth the same but the voltage do what varies yes the quantity of charge remains worth the same but the voltage what varies so the quantity of charge in the first capacitor is the same with the quantity of charge in the other world capacitor but the voltage they are not worth the same what do i mean the total voltage recorded in the circuit diagram is equal to the sum of the voltage in the first capacitor that's to say the voltage here which is v1 plus the voltage here which is v2 plus the voltage here which is what v3 so there are three voltage here so v total is v1 plus v2 plus what v3 now what is the formula for combining capacitors in what in series now the formula for combining capacitor is one over c total is equals to one over c1 plus one over c2 plus one over c3 okay this is capacitors in what in series okay it is actually the opposite of combining resistors in series now let us take a look at the diagram for a parallel connection now if the current gets to this place you discover that at this point this point in the circuit diagram is called a junction it's called a junction so at the junction something usually happens and what usually happens is this is that some of the currents will come this way some will come here, some will come here. So if you watch very well, you discover that there's a division of current. The current is separating. And because the current is separating, the circuit is said to be in what? In parallel, as you can see on the board. Okay? So the current here is not the same with the current here. So whenever there is a separation of current, it is parallel. But when there is no separation of current, it is what? Series. Are we together now watch this carefully if you see this guy now the, you have the current here the current here and the current here more also if you look at the statement it said in a parallel connection the quantity of charges is not the same that means the charge that is here will be called q1 the one that is here is called q2 the one that is here is called q waiting at three so that the total voltage see, the quantity of charge is not the same but the voltage remains worth the same so the quantity of charge is not the same that is to say it varies but the voltage is worth the same so this is the direct opposite of what your capacitors in world series okay take note of this important point in series the charge remains the same but the voltage varies but in parallel the well, the charges are not the same, but the voltage remains constant. So the total voltage is now V1 plus equals V2 equals V3. All the voltages are the same, but the quantity of charges, they are not the same. So Q, Q total is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Why? The charges are not what? The same. Same is a division of charges. So that total capacitance becomes C1 plus C2 plus C3 as the case may be. Are we together so this is the basic formula for combining capacitors in world in series why this one is in world in parallel now we are going to take just a few questions in this video lesson so that you see how to solve problems involving capacitors in series and in parallel solve this question look at the board okay we are going to solve this question right now let's assume that this is point a and this is what point b okay now let's analyze the flow of current in this circuit diagram and see the one that are connected in series and in parallel if you watch very well you see that if the current flows here okay the current that enters here is the same current that enters this place do you understand yes 
Because if it lives here, it has nowhere to go but to enter this place. So this one is said to be in what? In series. Mm. Because the same current flows through. But when it gets to this place, the current what? Divides. Okay? So this one is said to be in waiting a parallel. Okay? Why this one is in series also like this other two. So what do we do in this circuit diagram? The first thing we are going to do is to combine these two that are in what? In parallel together first before we now combine everything together in series. Now how do we come? In order for us not to make a mistake, we can decide to label this capacitor as capacitor A, capacitor B, capacitor C, capacitor D, and capacitor world E. So let's do that quickly. For C and D, the capacitor of C and the capacitor of D are what? In parallel. So if they are in parallel, remember how you combine it, you just add them together. So you have two microfarad plus another four micron farad. And that will give us waiting at six micron farad. So you have combined these two together in what? In parallel to get this so that the circuit becomes like this 2 micron farad here you have 3 micron farad and this one have been combined together as 6 so you have 6 micron farad then finally you have 4 micron farad so this is what we have now all together are in what in series so let's combine them together Remember to combine capacitors in series, it's like combining resistors in parallel. So we have 1 over C total is equals to 1 over, the first guy is 2, plus the second guy is 1 over 3, plus the third guy is 1 over 6, plus the fourth guy is 1 over 4. So we're going to take the LCM of 2, 3, 6, and 1, and 4. Let's do that. We have 2, 3, 6, and 4. You divide by 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3. So the LCM of 2, 3, 6, and 4 is what? 12. So you have 1 over C total is equals to 12. Okay? 12 divided by 2, you have 6 times 1. 6 plus 12 divided by 3, you have what? 4 times 1, 4. 12 divided by 6, you have 2 times 1, 2. 12 divided by 4, you have what? 3 times 1, 3. So you have 1 over C total equals to 6 plus 4 is what? 10. Okay? Plus 2 is what? 12. Plus 3 is what? 15. So you have 15 over waiting now, 12. So what do we do? We'll simply cross multiply so that you have 15 C total is equals 12. So we divide both sides by waiting now, 15. This cancel the C total will give us if 3 going to this place, you have 4. 3 going to this place, you have 5. So you have 4 by 5. The same thing as 0 0.8. 0 0.8 micron farad. So this becomes the total capacitance in what? In, in the circuit diagram. So the answer is not A. It is not B. It is not C. The answer is what? D. Now let's take number 2 question. Now... We are going to solve this second question. The question says that in the diagram above, calculate the potential difference across C1, C2, and C3. In this particular question, we have to calculate for the potential difference across each of them. Remember, from the diagram above, it can be said that the circuit are said to be in what series. And if they are in series, that means the voltage must not be the same. So there's a voltage here, it's called V1. There is a voltage here, it's called V2. There's a voltage here, it's called what? V3. So the voltage, they are not the same. So for that reason, they want you to calculate for the what? The voltage. But what you need to understand is simple. That if a circuit is in series, the quantity of charge, are they the same? Yes. So the charge that is here is Q. The one here is Q. The one here is what? Q. So what do we need to do? I think the first thing we have to do is to know that charge that is the same first, okay? If we know the charge that is the same, then we can calculate for the what? Voltage. Seeing that the capacitors for each of them has already been waiting now. 
give him. Do you understand? Now, let's do that quickly. But before we were able to calculate for the charge, it will be very important that we also calculate for the weighting now, the total capacitance in the circuit diagram. Remember I said if a capacitor is in series, the way you combine resistors in parallel, that's how you combine it. So let's combine this capacitor first, okay? So solution, total capacitance, total capacitance will become what? The total capacitance will become 1 over C total is equals to 1 over C1 is what? 2 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3. Okay? So the LCM of 2, 6, and 3 will still give us 6. So, so that we have 1 over C total is equals to 6, which is the LCM. Okay? Let's do that quickly. 6 divided by 2 is what? 3 times 1, 3. 6 divided by 6, 1 times 1, 1. 6 divided by 3 is what? 2 times 1, 2. So 1 over C total is equals to 6 over 6. Wow, that's interesting. It means that if you divide it, you have 1. So C total is equals to waiting 1. So the total capacitance is what? 1 micro waiting farad. That's the capacitance of the capacitor. Now, the next thing to do is to know the quantity of charge that flows across all of them because the charges is what the same remember in my previous video where i told you taught you capacitors and capacitance if you have not watched that video please do where to go back to that video so you can understand the basic concept of a capacitors and the factors affecting capacitors now if you watch very well you see that from the previous video capacitance is given as the ratio of charge to the potential difference between them so this will help us to calculate for the quantity of charge. Now, what is the capacitance? The capacitance is equals to what? One equals to quantity of charge over the potential difference is what? Twelve. So you have twelve. You must cross multiply so that the quantity of charge will become twelve. But don't forget that the charge will be in microcoulomb because the capacitance is one microcoulomb. So you have micro. Column. This is what you have. Why? Because the capacitance here is in what? Microfarad. So the micro is still there. But however, it will not affect our answer. Okay? Because they are going to cancel out. Now, going to find the potential difference across each of them. Now, from this formula that is given above, where you have C is charge over voltage. Now, since we are to calculate for the what? The potential difference across each of them it will be very important that we make v subject formula so from here we can make our v subject formula by saying that v is the quantity of charge over word c do you understand yes remember that this guy is what the same okay but this one is not the same so we can say that v1 is equals to this q no need to label it because they are what the same so you are q over waiting at c1 do you understand? Then our V2 will be what? Q over C2. Then our V3 will be what? Q over C3. That's what we have. So the charges is the same, but the voltage, they are not the same. Do you understand? So we have equals to, watch very well. The quantity of charge is what? 12 over C1. What's the first capacitance? 2. Did you see that if this is in micro colon and this is in microfarad? Did you see that the micro will cancel out? Yes. So they will cancel out and so that it becomes waiting at 6 volts. Okay? So you do the same for the next one, V2, so that you have quantity of charge, which is what? 12 micro colon over C2. What is C2? C and here? 6 micro farad. So they will cancel out and you have 2 volts. Finally, you have quantity of charge, which is 12 micro colon over C3, which is what? 3. And that will give us waiting at 4 volts. Wow, that's so interesting. So you have your V1, V2, and what? V3. 6, 2, and 4. No? Yeah, the answer is what? C. 6, 2, and what? 4. It is very easy. Now let's take this thought question, okay? If you come across this particular question, it is very easy to solve. Look at the question. The question says, two capacitance of six micron farad and what? Eight micron farad are connected in what? In series. 
What additional capacitance must be connected in series so that the combination will give a total of weight in a theory micron column? Do you understand? Okay, so what do we do? Very easy. Remember, capacitance in series is 1 over C total is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over what? C3. So let's do that quickly. So the total capacitance according to the question, the set is 3, so you have 3, equals to 1 over C1, which is what? 6, plus C2, which is what? 8, plus the additional, let's call it waiting at X, the additional capacitance, let's call it X, okay? If we call it X, it means, hmm, we can solve it, so you have 1 over 3, bring this guy here, this 1 over 6, you have minus 1 over 6, do the same here, you have minus 1 over 8 is equals to what? 1 over x. So, be careful. Let's take the LCM of 3, 6, and what? 8. 3, 6, 8. Okay? You divide by 2. Here it still remains 3, but here it becomes 3. Divide here, you have 4. So, you can divide by 2 again. Here is 3, 3, and here is 2. Divide by 2 again, here is 3, 3, and here is 1. Then you can divide by 3. So you have 1, 1. So, the LCM becomes the product of 2, 2, 2, and 3. That will give us what? 24. So the LCM is 24. If we take LCM as 24, we have 24. Okay, 24 divided by 3 is what? 8 times 1, 8. Minus 24 divided by 6 is what? 4 times 1, 4. Divide this, you have 3 times 1, you have 3. Equals to what? 1 over x. So 8 minus 4 will give us 4. 4 minus 3 will give us 1. So you have 1 over 24 is equals to 1 over x. So we we'll cross multiply so that x becomes 24 micron fine. Wow, that was interesting. But I'm on the Micron fine. Yes. So from C is 24. The answer is not A, it is not B. The answer is what C. Now, finally, we have come to the end of today's video lesson. If today is your first time for coming across my YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe for more content. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video.